All right, we are going to look at Women of Valor Week 30 prep this morning. And again, I have several things on hand. Um, your discipleship curriculum that you want to look at week 30. All right, and then your leader's guide and also your timed outlines will be very helpful in this. So looking at week 30, you just finished your testimonies. And so I'm just praying that things went well with you on that. I've been praying for you in that area. You are now going to cross over the bridge into the final stage of Women of Valor. You're going to really are running towards the finish line. You've only got four weeks left. And so this is the final training and true discipleship that you're going to be doing. And I have been praying for you in this, that women truly have got it, that they have really understood the power of God's salvation in their life. Um, reading the word, spending time with God, going over their testimony and how he has truly had his hand in their lives, having a real understanding of they can sit before the Father and know and understand their salvation, and that they know that God has forgiven them of their sins, so that they do not carry shame or guilt from their past. When that shame and guilt or sin is exposed to them, they know that that is God showing them their sins so that they can come to a heart of repentance and they can walk in true holiness. And so I've just been really praying over the women that the, the time of testimony did not bring shame and guilt to condemnation, but it truly brought out who God is and his faithfulness and what he's done in their lives. And so I want to encourage you in that, that... Um, Continue to pray for your women that the testimony piece was a piece that really brought freedom into their lives, not condemnation. And as they step into that freedom and the amazing gift that salvation is to them, that they can now take this last leg of this journey and help someone else understand salvation and discipleship. And they truly are, when they finish Women of Valor, ready to go and make disciples. So in week 30, what's going to happen is they are, you're going to spend the next four weeks really helping them understand how to disciple someone. And you're just going to take it week by week, step by step. Just like the testimony at first, it seemed like an overwhelming and, and kind of a fearful thing for some of the ladies. Discipleship will be the same way. But it's set up so week by week they can, um, under, first of all, understand what salvation is. And then you're going to walk with them as they walk with someone else about understanding salvation and how, some, how they can help others on their journey, on their spiritual journey. All right, so in week 30, what's going to happen is you're going to come together as a large group. And in the, in the teaching on there, there is um, why discipleship is important. So as a large group, go over that together. Look at the Gospels. Look at Jesus. And of course, Jesus was training. He came down. God came down as man to walk with man so we could understand um, what it looks like to walk in the flesh and walk as humans, um, having a relationship with God. And then he also, of course, that one of the very last things he told his disciples before he left was go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I've commanded you. I am with you always. So we take that knowing that that's what Jesus wanted us to do. He's, he's equipping us to do it. He's taught us so that we can teach others and that he is with us when we do that. So those are real key points that you're going to want to make sure your ladies understand. And so that is in your large group teaching in Lesson 30. You'll go over that with them. I've also given a short um, personal story in this about how I got to started in discipleship that I had been walking with God a really long time and I knew Jesus and I and I was saved and I was even teaching but that one on one was something I knew God was calling me to do but it was really really hard for me and so just how I was sort of set up in an assignment type situation um where I had to ask someone to help me with an assignment and walk through their spiritual journey where where they were my testimony and then what God has for us and that was really the start of a huge, beautiful um, journey that God has taken me on where he has put people in my path and I've been able to one-on-one -on -one walk with them through discipleship. Just nothing greater than having the opportunity to not only share what God's done for you, but help others 
find where they are spiritually and help them take the next step through to God. Sometimes that's for the very first time salvation, and sometimes that's people who are saved, but we're walking with them to go deeper and deeper in their relationship with God. So that's what you're going to, you're going to read over that ahead of time as leaders, and you're going to take time to teach that and talk about discipleship. You want to set the foundation of not only what discipleship is, but why it's so important. All right, then they're going to go to their small groups and the assignment that they have is to find someone that they can disciple, that they can meet with three times, at least three times. And so the first week, all they're to do is to call somebody and um, ask them if they can meet with them three times and explain to them that they're at the end of a discipleship program and that they want to meet with them to talk about spiritual things. So you up front, you're telling them what you want, and that opens the door. It's like Women of Valor is giving them an excuse to do their first real one-on-one -on -one discipleship, or maybe some of them have done it before, but it really gives, a, it gives them a clear outline. So that's what they're going to do this week. So in their small group, it's going to be really, really important that they begin to pray together and ask God to show them who they are supposed to disciple. This has been an amazing experience for so many women because they prayed, God put somebody specific in their path, and we've had women come to know Jesus for the first time. We've had women walk with women that were in a pit that at one time um, asked Jesus in their heart to be their savior, but they really have had a hard time walking out their salvation. And so you're going to set these women up for success. So this first week is calling somebody and finding that person. It takes a little push for some of them. So remind them, but when they come the next week, they need to have that person. Some of them will ask, can I do it over the phone? No, it needs to be something that somebody they can meet with face to face. They need to not meet for hours and hours, make it clear that they're meeting for 45 minutes, maybe an hour top to talk about spiritual things. So the person that they're inviting to have coffee with them or to meet with them understands what they're doing. These next three weeks, they're going to have to carve out time to meet with that person once a week, make it clear up front. So, um, the one doing the discipleship knows what is expected of them, and the person that they call knows what's expected of them, and then they'll have success in this. This piece is difficult. It's not easy for everyone, but it is the next push, and you're going to walk with these women as leaders on how to disciple week by week so that when they're done, they really have a concept and a grasp of what that means. We are very relational as women, and that one-on-one -on -one is really, really important. It helps them shift from talking about the physical things, the things they can see and understand into segueing into talking about spiritual things. Once they understand that and get in the habit of that, it gets easier and easier to relate um, everyday life with, with God and with spiritual experiences. So that's what they're going to be doing this week. All right. Then next week when we meet, we'll talk a little bit more about what's the first step. But this week, their homework is to pray, ask God to put someone in their path, and then call that person. Then when they meet back to next week, week 31, they're going to report who the person is that they called. All right. This is, this is exciting. Again, I'm praying for you that the transition is smooth, that the women are truly understanding their salvation, the journey that they've been on, so that they're ready to transition into going and making disciples. Um, it's just going to be an amazing journey the last several weeks of this Women of Valor journey, and I'm praying for you.